Hello and welcome back to my channel and in today's video we're going to take a look at the latest City Skylines 2 video uh, Road Tools feature highlights. Now everybody's excited about the new game, everybody has lots of uh, positive feedback after watching the trailer, uh, so many things that just got better or the things that we didn't have before. Now for this particular one I want to take a more critical look and let's take a look at some of the things that might be missing or not as good in the game as we would want them to. The roads crisscrossing your city are more than a means of transport. By connecting citizens to their work, families, and communities, they are the veins and arteries of your city's beating heart. Now, the first problem I have here is everything is extremely car-centric. It's still based on cars. I haven't seen uh, much of the transit system yet. Uh, the only thing we see in the video is um, trams, lots of trams. It's nice to see these, it's nice to have them, uh, but I'm not seeing any other infrastructure for um, buses or any kind of overground metro. I'm not even sure if uh, what used to be a metro overhaul mod is now uh, part of the game or the Sunset Harbor update things. And the other thing is I haven't seen a single bike lane, which is also a bit of a weird thing that's been uh, missing from these videos. Every pathway you carve out shapes the routine every day and opens the door to the extraordinary events that define their lives. City building starts with roads. It does start with roads, but the biggest problem is, I don't know, maybe it's going to be way better in a European theme city. Uh, this one is obviously based on the uh, American theme, and um, you gotta you gotta give credit to two dollars twenty. Uh, he's done a pretty good job, but the problem is it's um, it's just a very um, it just looks way too American to be honest, and it's not really um, a compliment when it comes to building cities. Uh, that's pretty much the reason why Americans travel to see nicer places to go. To places in Europe or in Asia uh, because there are more than there is way more than just cars to city planning and most of the people are not actually driving because they want to they're driving because they don't have a better option um, I'm a car guy myself I love driving I enjoy driving but I would I would love to have it as an option uh, not as um, you know you have no choice you have to drive and uh, another thing that you can see here is the intersection marking tool it seems to be built in the game now. Uh, it seems to be automated, uh, but we do get a lot of weird lanes here. I don't know what the traffic light is doing there. That's another weird thing for the ramp here. And uh, you can see these lanes. The lane is pretty clear. That's what, two lane, two lane off, two lane on. And then the markings are looking a little bit weird. You would understand that, you know, when you have a mod. Uh, that would be, yeah, that would explain a lot because with the mods you, you get a lot of glitches. Uh, but when it's designed uh, by the people who built the game, pretty much, uh, that's, that's a bit of a weird situation. Roads allow people, goods, and services to move through your city, of course. And in City Skylines 2, all roads except for highways automatically carries water, electricity, and sewage lines. Now, as much as I want to be critical of uh, this video, there is something that we established from the previous trailer. You do have all of um, the pipes hidden under the road, built into the roads. That's a really nice thing. Uh, nothing to complain about here. It's a shortcut that lets you focus on what you love about city building sooner. You'll construct and refine your road network using road tools. They're easy to learn and flexible, inviting you to follow your creative impulses. Returning players will welcome upgrades to the road tools that introduce several of the most wished for features. Other features are totally new. Use the road tools to create seamless city blocks. Players will welcome upgrades to the road tools that introduce se several of the most. I'm wondering what the uh, continuous uh, curve tool is for. Is it something that you could use to build a, uh, a road like a Stelvio in Italy? That would be, be really cool wished for features other features are totally new use the road tools to create seamless city blocks in just three clicks in no time it is really convenient it is a really nice tool to have um but it's pretty much yeah 
grid. You're stuck to grid. Um, and that's, once again, that's a very uh, North American thing. Uh, grids, grids are not the only answer. So it is going to be convenient, especially in the beginning of the game. But down the road, oh, I don't know. Um, I would really love to see uh, some other tools. Uh, pre-made like blocks that you can set a size for it's really nice but that's yeah that's there's got to be something else you'll lay long beautiful stretches of road to link lively residential and industrial districts to your buzzing city center. long beautiful roads yeah uh, that's exactly the problem that i'm having with these first trailers everything is uh built and um, everything is happening around cars and roads and parking lots. We have these massive parking lots. I'm wondering if there's going to be any more uh, developer diaries, updates, and uh, we'll see something about the transit and about the European theme. Uh, for now, yeah, not, not that promising. Just like that, you'll thread traffic along wide, curving streets. Uh, the water effects here, they're looking definitely a little bit better than the previous game. I know that this one is a really, a really tough one to make, you know, uh, to make it look nice and make sure that uh, most of the PCs can actually handle it. So, yeah, it looks a little bit weird, but uh, we'll leave it at that. There are certain limitations that I guess uh, developers are facing. And elegant elevated highways. You'll even add bridges. Elegant elevated highways. Yeah, elevated highways, that's what. The city planning of uh, 30 years ago, that was a new nice thing. ...and tunnels and only a few clicks. Intersections have been overhauled in city skylines too. Placement rules are less restrictive, and you can use pre-made intersections on new and existing roads. You can also add roundabouts. Yep, they're here. From gentle suburban roundabouts to roaring multi-lane roundabouts. It's never been easier to engineer uninterrupted streams of traffic. That's because roads will be configured automatically, so vehicles can enter and exit the roundabout safely. Simply, It is really nice to have the uh, roundabout tool, but the problem is it seems like, as opposed to the roundabout mode, uh, here are just uh, four different sizes of a roundabout that you can choose from. Uh, you cannot really have a custom one. Uh, so yeah, that's uh, that's a bit of a downside here. And then if you take a look at the railway connections, these are not looking too bad, but they pretty much, I don't know, from this point, it just looks like something you would build with the anarchy mode in the City Skylines 1. I uh, would probably need to have a close-up to, to tell more, um, uh, to tell what's going on there. Drop your preferred roundabout over an existing intersection and... Ta -da! A whole oh wow, another roundabout with uh, markings that are not really properly placed. I don't know how that's supposed to work, but it just doesn't look all that nice. Although, to be fair, it does uh, look like, yeah, it probably does look realistic. You know, a couple workers uh, in a rush, messing it up, trying to get off work as soon as possible. Yeah, uh, maybe that would be the explanation for that. And now these um, curb lanes, that looks like an awful lot like parking because if you take a look at the lane here you have a motorcycle and a car parked and then the same kind of shade goes into the roundabout which is a really weird solution i don't know if that's what it's going to be and then the markings once again it's probably they do look a little bit weird even though there is a roundabout but it does look a bit weird i don't know that uh, probably the reason is the uh, north american kind of theme new way to move people, goods, and services through your city. Decide the direction of traffic and how it flows by placing traffic lights, crosswalks, and directional no-turn traffic signs and stop signs. Erect sound barriers. Now, pretty much uh, the things that you would have in um, traffic manager mode, some of them are now part of the base game. That is really nice. And then the noise barriers are looking a little bit more natural and seem to be easier to place and it seems yeah there still have to be okay so now they have to be placed uh differently so what you would do in the original game you would have to choose the road that comes with them uh, now here you can place them separately on the side of the road so it doesn't have to be you don't have to update the road you just add the um, noise barriers that's really nice i don't know if that's going to work on regular roads though or is it highway roads only 
and construct parking lots. Parking lots, of course. Here we come. Parking lots again. Um, yeah. Uh, parking lots. That's not really a thing to be excited about, is it? A beautiful, beautiful parking lots. Yeah. Um, okay. No comment on that one. That's another new feature in City Skyline 2. And for returning players, it means Christmas has come early. You can even add decorative touches if you want to. They don't just make your city pretty. They can be useful, too. So those trees you use to line sidewalks? Add charm and reduce noise pollution. Of course, building a city is a process of exploration and experimentation. All right, the fact that uh, it seems like the uh, detailing process is going to be made a little bit easier, which is a good thing, because uh, in City Skylines, right now, you have to spend a lot of time. But uh, it also might mean that you're going to have very limited options with the base game. Uh, we'll see how it turns out to be. Um, yeah, but for now, that's all we know. You'll try stuff out. Some of it you'll like, and some you won't. Oh, yeah, definitely. There's a whole bunch of things I already don't like. Want to change an existing road? Use the new replace tool. It's like the old upgrade tool, but with more freedom to refine your road network. All right, so there's one thing that definitely looks uh, really nice. So uh, updated uh, road tools. Uh, you see how easy and uh, effortless that was to just pull another lane and the lanes are connecting properly here. Uh, once again, the other thing that I see and it's just uh, such an eyesore. Uh, what are these black bits on the side? Uh, that would make sense if you would build it with uh, Road Anarchy. Uh, but that's the base game. That's a new base game, and uh, you're using the tools. There are no mods for the base game right now. Uh, so what's happening there? That's another um, question we don't have an answer for. Change your mind about a road? Pull those tools to the rescue. Click, 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 and that road... Now, they did make it a little bit uh, more realistic. You can build those the roads, and then uh, um, some say there's going to be car crashes and things like that. Uh, but you can build those the road with uh, with literally a car on it. So we're going to still have the flying cars from uh, the previous uh, game. So yeah, they said we're going to have flying cars by 2020 or 2030. Here we come. City Skylines flying cars. What is a thing of the past? Road building is more... All right, finally, we have a train station, a pretty basic one, but that is already something. And yeah, the pollution effects are looking a little bit better, a little bit more realistic, and you can see that the renderings are working way better. So the buildings that are far away, you still can see enough detail. And then especially like this bit over here, it does look pretty realistic, pretty nice. Um, another parking lot. Again, okay, moving on. Intuitive and nuanced. Okay, and now, um, coming back to the uh, uh, railway uh, connections and crossing, it does look pretty realistic. So, okay, so that is not an issue from a distance. It looks a bit weird. Uh, when you see a close-up, it does look all right. Uh, way, way better than the previous game. City Skylines too, and every... All right, so this bridge, the bridge looks pretty nice, to be honest. And then you can see uh, we get reflections on the water, which is something we didn't have in the first game. Um, yeah, this bit, everything looks pretty nice. And then you can see the noise barriers. Um, yeah, everything looks pretty good on this bit. The pathway has a far-reaching impact. Build your city's roads as a testament to your ambition and a promise to citizens that anything is possible. Promise to citizens, we're going to build more roads and more parking lots. Um, okay. So uh, after this um, second video that shows the in-game footage, uh, we can tell that there is a lot of updates. A lot of things just got way uh, more fun and way um, better working. Uh, but I'm still waiting for two things. I'm waiting to see uh, what a European-themed city is going to look like, whether or not there's going to be any kind of like Middle Eastern or Asian theme. And the last one is transit. Uh, what about transit? Because right now we only see trams, lots of cars, highways, and parking lots. All right, that'll be it for today. Um, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.